Long story short, for those who don't know, back in May of 2018, Cameron Heron was racing his Ford Mustang against his friend John Barano, resulting in the death of a mother and a daughter named Jessica and Lilia Rabinolt. Cameron Heron pleaded guilty on two counts of vehicular homicide back in the end of 2020 or early of 2021. On April of 2021, the judge sentenced now 21-year-old Cameron Heron to 24 years in prison. Again, for those who don't know the story and would like to know more details, I'll provide links to articles down below in the description box. For the sake of my target audience of knowing the story, I will keep on going so y'all would know my take on this legal case. Because he pleaded guilty on those two counts of vehicular homicide, Side, he can't appeal against the judge ruling on his guilt or innocence, but he can appeal against the sentencing, which his family has already done. We don't know exactly when his appeal court hearing will be, knowing that the justice system can take a while. So with that being weighted, let me give you my personal two cents onto this legal case. Personally, I disagree with the 24 years sentencing. I don't think having Cameron to serve 24 years in prison is a proper way to do his justice. In this video, I'll give my suggestion on my ideal way of having Cameron to serve his justice. But to keep my point going forward, I don't support overturning the sentence. And what I mean by overturning the sentence is what you will see on TikTok, where a lot of people are defending him saying, oh, he's innocent, he's good looking, let him go. That is super idiotic because if this whole sentencing was to be overturned all because of Instagram fan pages of wanting him to be free, then it would forever fracture our justice system and by no means is our justice system is perfect but we have to have some structure because seriously think about it to be a judge in any legal case you have to go to college which means to go to law school and then to be a lawyer for an X amount of years and then you'll have to be appointed or to be nominated elected those are big stages in life depending what level do you have to be that will be such a bad precedent and then that means that we can let criminals out and not have have judges to defend our society. I think it's good to raise awareness. I don't think you should let someone free because they're cute. And please keep in mind, this case is super not black and white. I feel so bad for the Rabinal and Reisinger family. Like, oh my gosh, I can never imagine losing my wife and my daughter at the same time. That must burn like crazy. Or losing a niece, losing a cousin, losing a sister. It really tears me apart. And in this case specifically, it's really hard to make a proper solution to this case. Knowing that it's such a great case, no one wins in this situation. Both families will lose. Cameron Heron, who barely started in his 20s, his life is just beginning, and yet it's all gone. By the time he leaves prison, which is 2045, he'll be, I don't know, 45, 44 years old by then, he's a dead man walking because him having a felony record, he's not gonna be able to get a nice job, He'll probably have to do not so very pleasurable things to earn his cash. He's basically a dead man walking. And I don't want any of my peers to go through that path all because of one stupid decision. Let's have things done in a legal way. Cameron Heron and his family filed an appeal against the sentencing. Now we'll just have to wait. And if you really do support Cameron, then pray that he wins his case. Please make smart choices. Don't do one thing that will lead to you life worth of regret. And if you want to help, Cameron or people like Cameron, then go talk to a local politician to fight for justice reform or better road safety. For me right now, I'm advocating for better road safety in my city, just so no innocent pedestrians like Jessica and Lilia Rabinal being injured or possibly killed and also preventing young drivers like Cameron Heron to face harsh punishment. And let's be frank, for me personally, I don't think I can have a justice reform and road safety all in one night. One battle at a time, and me advocating for road safety is already a huge battle for me. To prevent cases like Cameron Heron, Jessica Rabinal, and Lilia Rabinal, let's prevent situations like these, which is to have better road safety. You know, Cameron, he was an 18 year old dude who wants to race his Mustang. And guess what? He could have done that in a safer way. But I don't know Tampa, Florida very well. But if we build more racing ranges, then maybe more teens and young drivers in their 20s can take their cars to race at race ranges and not have any innocent pedestrians being hurt or possibly killed. So for me to advocate better road safety and talking to my local city councilor about this, this is a way to change the society. 
society to change the law. Okay, so here's my ideal way for Cameron Heron to give back to the society is to have him serve, I don't know, seven to 15 years in prison, right? And then after he gets out of prison, have him serve another 15 years in the military and have him give half of his military pensions and benefits to the Rabinal and Reisinger family. In that way, prison won't destroy him completely. He can do something positive for the society and he is still repaying to the victims that he took away. And that way he won't be surrounded by crazy people because prison inmates, oh my gosh, I don't think a person like Cameron should be surrounded by actual rapists and murderers because Cameron never had the intentions to kill a mother and a daughter despite his stupid teenage thinking at that very moment. I don't think he should be surrounded by them and you are who you surround yourself with. And I don't want Cameron to become a possible murderer or rapist when he gets out. The military takes a lot of honor and discipline and he can regain his life through that discipline training. Plus, with him being a motivational speaker to young drivers so they don't end up making the mistake that he made.